Hey children, welcome to our fun-filled and exciting journey of learning together. Today, I have something fun and interesting activity for you. It's a totally new activity and I am sure you are going to enjoy a lot. The learning objectives for the activity are to introduce standing line, to enhance cognitive skills, to develop hand-eye coordination and to enhance fine motor skills. The resources which we need for the activity are flashcard, chalk or tape, crayons and paper. So children, I have this flashcard for you here. The activity is standing line. This new activity tells us how to draw a standing line. So in this flashcard, you can see so many standing lines. Now we will see how to draw a standing line in the air using pointing finger. So first start from up and go all the way down. Do you want to do it again? Start from up and go all the way down. This is how you will be writing or drawing a straight line. Now I have some objects here for you in this picture. They all represent standing lines. First we have an ice cream stick, then a ruler or a, or a scale, a straw, a kinex and a colored twistable pencil. These all objects represent standing line. Alright, so when you take your fingers onto it from top to all the way down or bottom, it makes a standing line. Now children, are you ready for some fun and excitement? Because it's an activity time. Yay! And we only not have one activity, but we have two activities. In the activity one, we have pattern tra tracing on the floor. So the activity name is Pattern Tracing on the Floor. Children, if you don't have chalk or tape at your home, you can do this activity on a piece of paper as well. Alright, you can see I have drawn the needful on a paper. Okay, so if you don't have a tape or a chalk at home, you can do the similar way. For this activity, we need two objects. A doll and a ball. So, keep two objects. A doll and a ball. Or any two objects which are available at some distance from each other. 
in the vertical position which is also known as standing line position so can you see in the picture i have two objects a doll and a ball i have drawn on a piece of paper at a distance in the next picture i have now drawn dotted lines between the two objects if you are doing this activity on the floor you can draw the dotted lines on the floor with the chalk or if you are doing it on the piece of paper you can draw the dotted lines with the help of a crayon or a marker between the two objects and then children you need to help the doll reach the ball by joining the dotted lines using a chalk if you are doing on a floor or with the help of a crayon if you are doing it on the paper all right now once you are done with this you have to walk on the straight line if you are doing this activity on the floor okay i hope you understood how to perform this activity in the second activity we have a very interesting thing to do it is about a crayon and paper so take a paper and few crayons of your choice now make straight lines from up to down or from top to bottom if you are not able to make straight line from top to bottom you can do as i have shown in the picture you can first draw dotted lines on the paper and then join the dotted lines together to make a standing line all right so parents kindly provide paper and crayon to the child and encourage the child to make the straight lines from up to down as shown in the picture hope you enjoyed the activities now try the activities at home and share the pictures with us thank you